Good afternoon, everyone. On behalf of the Habi Web Technologies team, welcome to our webinar entitled Create Online Video Courseware Using Open Broadcaster Software. I am Lizelle Milano, and I will be your moderator for this afternoon. Kumusta po tayong lahat? Sana ay nasa mabuti tayong kalagayan at excited para sa panibago na naman nating matututunan. So wag na nating patagalin pa, let me introduce to you our guest speaker for today. She is a graphics and multimedia designer and a contemporary artist. She graduated from De La Salle University Das Marinas with a degree in Bachelor of Science, Graphics Design and Multimedia Arts. Currently, she's a multimedia instructor at the Four Eastern University, Alabang, and she's also a photographer and organizer at Focal Project and Lentimio, an artist at Tomage, and lastly, owner and graphic artist of Mica My Prints and Crafts. Ladies and gentlemen, let us all welcome our guest speaker, Ms. Pauline Bernal Alderon. Ms. Pauline? Good afternoon, yes. Hi, good afternoon. So for today, uh, thank you very much for that, Ms. Lizelle. Uh, hi, I hope you are all uh, well today. We all know uh, that we are in the midst of the pandemic and in the uh, phase of what we call the new normal. So as teachers and innovators, we have to extend our capacity to our audiences, specifically uh, to our uh, students. Uh, video courses are very handy for our students and uh, I will be this, uh, discussing you some key points on uh, how to create our uh, video courseware. Okay, so uh, right now, um, so I'll, I'll read. Okay, so uh, as you can see, uh, we will be using the program or the software of OBS. So I will be giving first uh, the expectations that you're going to be getting from uh, this webinar. So I am expecting all the participants to be or to create their own voice-powered video courseware in presenting their lessons to their audiences, specifically to their students. And the objectives of this webinar is also to familiarize uh, you guys sa iba't ibang applications na pwedeng makakreate kayo ng own video courseware ninyo. And specifically, maging voice-powered ito to help your students uh, and your audiences for your school and business presentations. Uh, for our webinar, the outline of this, I will be discussing why online video coursewares are important. I will be introducing you the OBS interface para hindi naman kayo masyado uh, uh, maguluhan with the interface itself. And of course, the basic functions of OBS. Also, we have to create like the equipment or I will be discussing you. Uh, about the equipment that you will be needing. Actually, napakabilis lang dito and napaka-specific lang dito when it comes to uh, recording. And also, presenting a sample presentation and how to screen record using OBS. So, I will be teaching you how to set up your OBS while wrapping up your videos in OBS. And of course, uh, I will be finalizing uh, some key takeaways. Part of the key takeaways is yung tuturuan ko kayo paano mag-tweak ng content sa Sony Vegas Pro, it could be version 13 or version 15 or any available video editing softwares na meron kayo. Okay, so for it, okay, so why do we need online video courseware? So why do online video courseware uh, important, lalo na ngayon sa panahon natin? So the effectivity of the students it's very, uh, the effectivity to the students is very common. Uh, kadalasan, we have to be really extending our capacity, lalo na sa mga tinuturoan natin. Uh, first reason why we have to learn how to uh, create our own video courseware is because 
they can replay uh, our videos uh, our video uh, previous discussions so every time that we have discussions pwede nila i-replay yun anytime and anywhere and they can even download it and watch it offline that's uh, the second one and the third one is they can fully understand the lesson through effective presentations and audit uh, auditory presentations. So they can actually fully understand, lalo ng mga kabataan ngayon, the more that they see and they visualize, they hear what uh, what they are watching, mas lalo nilang na learn more yung kanilang, uh, yung kanilang lessons uh, very clearly. So for that, the main point of uh, creating a video courseware is to make sure the students and even our audiences, kahit mga kliyente natin, is to be flexible enough, lalo na ngayon uh, sa pandemic or lalo na ngayon nag-work from home tayo. So this is one tool or this is one handy tool for you to gain your business and even to teach or reach out the people that you are getting into. So as we go on, so actually, this is the OBS interface, okay? So this OBS interface, you can actually download it in OBS or uh, OBS.com. So if you're going to search here, I, oh wait, OBS. So, ayan, obsproject.com. If you go to their website, makikita nyo to. You can actually, if you're using Windows, either you're using Mac or Linux, you can actually download OBS in any operating system that you have. So, i-click nyo lang si Windows. If Windows yung gamit nyo, si Mac OS version 10.13 plus and then Linux if you are using Linux. So, maraming gamit si OBS, but right now, we will be focusing on how you can create your own video coursewares. So, dito nyo lang siya, uh, mag-download sa OBS project. Free naman siya, and you can download it anytime. Okay, so, for the basic functions of OBS, uh, let's see. So, this is actually the, uh, the main function of the OBS. So this is the whole interface of the uh, of the OBS. So right now we will be seeing here the menu bar over here. Yeah. Tapos uh, as we can see here we also have the scenes here, the sources, the audio mixer, the scene transitions and the settings. Okay. So, dito pala sa interface na to, actually, this is really clear naman for the interface. Madali lang naman siya i-control. Lalo na kung gagawa lang kayo ng mga video courseware. So, first of all, punta muna tayo kay menu bar. So, sa file, makikita nyo si show recordings. Si show recordings, doon mapupunta lahat ng mga videos na ginagawa ninyo. So, every time na magsistream kayo, dito siya pupunta. Okay? So, para ma madali ninyo malocate yung inyong uh, files. Next, we have the settings. Si settings, ito yung kanyang interface. Okay? So, si general, actually, pwede kayo mamili kung ano yung inyong uh, preferred style or UI of the OBS. So, we have different style. We can use Acre. We have the default or the dark style. We have the Rackney. So, ayan, we have the system. But, must prefer ko yung dark. Okay? So, kayo, or whatever na mas uh, prefer ninyo when it comes to your style. And then, also we have the output. So, actually, I leave this blank. So, okay nang wala ng check. Ang may check na lang dito is show confirmation dialog when starting stream. So, okay na ako dyan. Uh, when source alignment snapping. Uh, pwede dito sa mga areas dito sa ilalim, wala na kayong galawin kasi default na siya. Uh, except na lang kung meron kayong ibang paggagamitin ng mga uh, ng mga assets ninyo or ng mga settings ninyo. Okay? Lalo na kung may mga projector pa kayo or mga uh, multi-views or multi-monitor pa kayo na ginagamit. Okay, so right now, we also have here the stream. 
So si stream, if magla-live kayo online, or for example, you're going Facebook Live, you can actually click Facebook Live. Meron din tayong YouTube dito, meron din tayong Twitter, all the website na merong live, pwede kayo mag-connect with OBS. So, mas madali siya. Okay? So, the stream key, ipoprovide yan yung website and then you just have to generate it here, dito sa area na to. Okay? So, dito lang, sa area na to. And then, next, we have the output. Si output, uh, sa streaming and recording. Okay? So, magkaiba tayo when it comes to streaming and recording. But right now, we will be pursuing recording. Okay? So, ngayon, sa streaming, kadalasa pag naglalaro tayo or nagiging stream tayo, we go over, pwede tayo umabot na 3,500 kbps. So, it's fine. Pero kung magre-record lang tayo, okay na tayo sa settings sa MP4 para madali natin siya ma-edit sa Sony Vegas o kaya sa Adobe Premiere. And then, we can actually, uh, the quality, pwedeng iset nyo sa high quality or same lang sa stream ninyo. So, kung a size ng screen ninyo is actually same as, as, my, uh, as my size screen, actually 1366 over uh, 6768, or much larger pa doon, like 1920 by 1080. So, pwede nyo i-set na lang as same as stream. So, okay na. And then, if you are a uh, bit specific, naging medyo OC kayo with your recording path, or yung folder na paglalagy paglalagyan ng inyong mga videos, you can actually set it here, and then click apply. Okay? So, ayun. Okay, next, sa audio. When it comes to audio, wala na akong masyado bidabago dito. Kasi this is already the default one. Okay, so I will be teaching you how later, how to do noise cancellation with uh, OBS. And then, the video. Si video, dito ninyo pwede iset yung standards ninyo. If you're using, uh, eto nga, yung sinasabi ko sa inyo kanina, the screen sizes that you, that you are having. So the smallest screen size that we have is 1366 by 768. And then we have the 1920 and the 1280. So for the output resolution, kadalas gumagamit lang ako ng uh, 1280 by 720. And the aspect ratio should be 16 by 9. So uh, in this case, pwede kayong mag-exceed ng 1920 by 1080. Pero mas prefer yung level of quality to 1280 by 720 uh, resolution. So I think that's gonna be fine. Okay, next that we have is the hotkeys. See, hotkeys, of course, uh, kadalasan, uh, if you're not gonna use, uh, if you're not used to clicking settings here, lalo na dito sa ating control panel dito, you can actually uh, set up your hotkeys dito sa settings. Okay, so you have like to start recording, you have to stop recording. Kung ano yung mas gamay ninyo when it comes to hotkeys, kunyari, I will... Uh, set the start recording to, pag may start recording ako, control, I'm holding right now control, and then W. So, pag kindly ko si control W, start siya ng recording niya. Okay? And if I want to stop my recording, I will be clicking, kunyari, uh, control R. So, whenever I uh, click control R, ayan, stop yung recording ko on the spot. So, that is how hotkeys work. So, pwede nyo siya iset dito. You just have to remember ano yung mga hotkeys na nilagay ninyo. Just to make sure na hindi kayo mag-get lost along the way. Next, we have the advanced. So, delete lang natin to because we will be editing it later. When it comes to advanced naman, uh, kadalas yun dito, wala na ako masyadong ginagalaw. Uh, pwede nyo iset yung process priority to high. Pero kung hindi mataas yung specifications ng inyong, uh, ng mga laptops inyo or ng mga gear sa inyo, you, you can just set it to normal. So, that is the settings interface or that is the settings provided by the OBS. Okay, so once you are all done, you can actually just click apply and then okay. Okay, so right now, we will be uh, focusing now with... Uh, with creating your own uh, video softwares. So, 
si basic functions lang ni OBS, tanto dun yun lang yung inyo uh, interface. We have here the menu bar. We have here the the viewing panel and then the scenes panel, the sources panel, and the controls panel. Also, the audio mixer panel. So, yan lang yung matatandaan ninyo when it comes to OBS. So, that is the basic function. So, right now, what equipment do we need in recording? So, basically, ang uh, ginagamit ko ngayon is just an earphone uh, with microphone for uh, audio uh, audio presenting. Okay, so uh, basically, this uh, this recording, pwede kayo gumamit. Actually, I'm using right now the, the JBL Deep Bass, pero pwede kayong gumamit lang ng mga uh, cheap na, na earphones as long as uh, compatible siya sa laptops ninyo. You can actually use a uh, microphone. You can actually buy some something in Shopee or Lazada, may mga murang microphone doon na may voice cancellation. Importante lang naman dyan may voice cancellation yung inyong mga uh, recording equipment para marinig kayo at saka mas malinaw siya pagka pinakinggan ng mga estudyante at saka ng mga kliyente ninyo. So that is one point in recording. And of course, when it comes to recording, okay lang tapad yung low specs of a uh, laptop. Uh, supported naman siya ni OBS. Uh, but right now, uh, if you're asking me, uh, ano ba yung magandang uh, equipment for it? I am actually using uh, Dell uh, Core i7 um, Inspiron. So, yun yung gamit ko ngayon na laptop. And then, uh, yun lang. For the camera, uh, I'm actually just using the laptop camera. So, yun. Yun lang. And actually, there are lots of equipment uh, in recording. You can actually use your phones. Mada-download nyo naman si OBS sa phones ninyo. You just have to download the APK. So, yun lang naman si equipment when it comes to uh, OBS. So, let's start. So, as we create one uh, video presentation or video courseware sa OBS, you just have to remember that we are uh, creating a soft uh, 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 video courseware for our students. Okay? So, uh, before we proceed to the next application, I will be teaching you how to set up your video. So, for example, let's start with creating your scenes. Okay? Dito sa panel na to. Okay? So, si scenes, dito yung layers ninyo. Okay? So, dadagdagan natin siya ng add scene 1 and then add scene 2. Okay? So, si scene 1, uh, siya yung magiging display natin. So, uh, ganito. For the scene, okay, so we have three scenes here. For the scene, uh, scene 1, uh, pangalan na lang natin ito na scene 0. For scene 0, we will be using an intro. Okay? So, kunyari, meron kayong intro video. Okay? So, si intro video, gamit tayo ng video 1. Okay? So, right now, we will be, uh, pwede nyo i-resize to. Definitely, ko anong size ng inyong canvas or ng viewing panel niyo. Ayan. For example, that is already fine with you. Okay, so yan si scene 0. Okay, so you just have to toggle this I button para makita nyo if gumagana talaga siya. And then, si scene 1 would be our display capture. So, right now, you can actually see here different settings or different options when it comes to uh, creating your own softwares, uh, your own uh, display captures. So, click natin si display capture. So, si display capture, ang gagawin niya technically is to capture what is being presented on the screen. Okay? So, makikita niyo dito, ito yung screen natin. So, we're just gonna click OK and then resize it. So, that should be fine. Okay na yan. Okay? So, si scene 0 will be our intro and then scene 1 would be our display capture and si scene 2, okay, Let's try to have it na yun yung outro natin. 
So, kunyari, eto siya. So, balik tayo. So, balik tayo. We have here scene 0 as your intro, scene 1 as your display capture or the one that you're gonna be presenting to the students, and scene 2 as your outro. Okay? So, pwede naman, actually, exception na lang kung maglalagay pa kayo ng intro and outro sa pagpipresent. Actually, wala namang kaso yun. Okay? So, right now, we will be now setting up your settings. Okay? So, babalik tayo kay settings. And then, let's click hotkeys. Okay? Si hotkeys. This one. Okay. Yan yeah, si hotkeys. Katulad na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, you just have to remember the hotkeys that you're gonna set within your uh, OBS. So, for example, makikita nyo dito, pumasok na yung tatlong scene na ginawa natin. So, si scene 0 ulit, yung intro natin. Scene 1 is our display capture. And then, scene 2 is our outro. Okay? So, si scene 0, if we click on scene 0, gusto natin ipakita si scene 0, we're gonna click, kunyari, I'm going to click Control w Okay? So, see, we, uh, you just have to press Control w on your keyboard and it will generate na doon sa text box. Okay? So, for the hide video source, uh, kunyari, I will be doing it Control r Okay? So, whenever I click Control w mag appear si Zin 0. And if I want to hide the intro, I will be clicking uh, control R. So, ganun siya. So, scene, switch to scene, pwede na siguro zero. Okay? So, I just click zero. Actually, uh, on your own discretion na lang kung anong hotkeys ang gagamitin ninyo as long as you can memorize all your hotkeys. Okay. When seat one, our uh, display capture, so, if I'm gonna switch from scene zero or the intro to scene one or the display capture, I will be clicking control. Or sabi na lang natin, uh, equal na lang. Equal na lang. Para mas madali. Okay? Uh, para hindi nagkakaroon ng lapses with the control W and control R. So, we're just gonna click equal. So, right now, we will be proceeding with uh, show display capture. So, sabi natin si show display capture, control 2. And then, high display capture is control T. Okay? So, na-set na natin si intro at si display capture. What about si outro? Si outro, kunyari, we want it to end or to switch the scene. So, we just have to click shift. Okay? And then next, we have the next media source. Uh, sabi natin, ang gusto nating hotkey is control Z. Okay? And then, the next hotkey is control C. Okay? So, just take a look here. Lahat ng ating uh, hotkeys, we have to memorize this everything para ma uh, madali tayo when it comes to using OBS. So we don't have to go back uh, always to the interface just to click uh, the settings here in the control panel. Okay, so let's apply and then okay. So, ayan. So okay na tayo when it comes to setting up our scenes. And okay na tayo with the sources. Just take note, guys. Kapag nag-show kayo ng inyong mga scenes, you have to toggle off your media sources. So, para automatic na siya na mag-review. Okay? So, let's try to click uh, Control w So, yan. Nag-appear siya. So, I just click Control w guys. So, ibig sabihin, I just click show display capture or i just show scene zero intro if i want to hide it i will just click control r nawala na siya ganun lang guys okay so i will return it again so sabihin natin control uh, w ita toggle off ang uli natin siya yeah Tagal of lang na uli natin siya. So, okay na tayo with setting up our uh, video 
uh, sources. Okay? So, right now, meron tayong start recording. Okay? So, if we click start recording here, kanyari, i-click natin si start recording, you can see here, magsa-start na siya mag-record. Okay? So, magsa-start na siya mag-record within this, uh, on your, uh, uh, lower, lower right. Makikita nyo, nagre-record na siya. So, stop recording natin siya. We can actually go to show recordings and then, eto siya guys. Yeah. So, basically guys, ang nakakapture niya is yung nandoon sa ating display panel. Kaya siya black. Kasi wala akong pinlay doon sa ating uh, viewing panel or doon sa ating media source. So, what we're gonna do is to make sure that we will be uh, clicking. So, pag-start recording natin, get ready to start the intro. Okay? So, right now, we will be showing the intro. Ngayon, okay na kayo which is the intro na yun, we will be clicking control, okay, to shift with uh, with the next uh, display capture. So, itatagal on natin siya. Okay. So, nakikita nyo din, guys, set nyo siya dito, okay? Masiset nyo siya dyan dito sa scene transition. You can actually choose if you want to cut or fade, pero mas maganda naman si fade kahit pa paano. So, let's try to see what happened. So, yun. As you can see, meron siyang uh, fade effect when it comes to uh, transferring from one scene to another. So, that is actually a good thing. Ayan na. So, whenever you, you just have to uh, click your own um, uh, videos, you just have to provide your samples, uh, sample media sources. So, for example... Uh, nakagawa na tayo. So, let's try again. Start recording. So, control W. Ah, oh, wait. Sorry. We will be stopping it again. So, kailangan na toggle off. And then, start recording. And then, control W. Okay. So, we will be shifting to the new scene. Ayan. So, make sure na nakatagal off siya. Para pagka kinontrol to ninyo, ayan, mag-review na siya, ganyan. And then, if we're gonna shift, we're gonna be proceeding to the next media sources. So, that is the outro. Okay? So, if we're gonna stop recording, we just have to click the stop recording button here in the controls panel. Ayan. So, automatically, mapupunta siya dito. Kasama yung audio ninyo. If you're talking, okay? Kasabayan nung inyong pagsasalita. Okay. So, right now, mapapansin ninyo, I will be just giving you also a key takeaway when it comes to audio recording. Uh, actually, you can see here the mic, AUX, here in the audio mixer. Ito, this one. So, while I'm speaking, gumagalaw siya. Okay, kung mapapansin ninyo. One thing uh, that you can do is to do noise cancellation. So, go to filters. Ayan, actually nakaset na siya sa noise cancellation ko. But, you can actually click this plus sign here. Ito. Once you click this plus sign, 
or you're gonna add noise suppression. Okay? Once you click this noise suppression, ito yung lalabas. Okay? So, I just set my noise suppression to negative 26 uh, dB. So, uh, medyo makondense lang siya ng onte, Masuppress lang siya ng onte, But it would not make loss of my voice. Okay? The noise will be suppressed, but the voice will still be there. So, actually, si noise suppression, meron pang onting noise yan. But, with noise gate, with the help of noise gate, pwede nyo maset yung inyong settings into this. So, you can actually uh, do my settings na rin. Pwede na rin yan. Uh, malinaw na rin siya. Hindi nyo na rin kailangan pa dalhin pa sa premiere if uh, in case nagre-record kayo. Kasi meron nang nag-cancel ng noise within the OBS. So, pwede pwede nyo nang gayahin itong mga settings niya. Na to. So, we have the close threshold, the open threshold. We have the time here. So, you can actually copy paste the lang yung mga settings ko for, uh, for me to help you guys uh, with creating your own videos. So, ayan. So, ngayon, uh, when it comes to noise cancellation, okay na tayo with the mic or the AOS. Lalo na kung hindi ganun ka high-tech yung nabili ninyong mic. You can actually do noise cancellation with here on the settings. Okay. So right now, kunyari, let's say we have finished the whole uh, editing, okay? So we have finished the whole editing. We will be now proceeding to editing it in Sony Vegas. We have downloaded the Vegas Pro 15. So, excel natin to. Okay. So, this is the interface of a Vegas Pro 15. Actually, wala sila masyadong pinagkaiba ni Vegas Pro 13. Okay? But actually, personally, I am using Adobe Premiere 2019. But for, uh, let's say, for beginners or for those who are not into professionals or hindi masyadong ganun ka-advanced, uh, I would best suggest uh, Sony Vegas Pro 15 kasi madali lang yung interface niya, madali siya intended compared kay Adobe Premiere. Uh, kahit ito pang version ni Adobe Premiere, mas madaling intindihan si Vegas Pro. So, what we're gonna do is to make sure that we will be uh, editing some of our lapses here. Okay? Kung hindi tayo satisfied with the uh, with the said video or yun ang produce natin video sa OBS. Pwede natin siyang i-post production dito sa Vegas Pro 15 para magawa natin ng paraan. Okay? So, what we're gonna do is just simply drag here the uh, the video. So, meron siya, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? So, technically, if na-set nyo na with your own discretion or preferences yung video nyo sa OBS, Basically, you just have to say uh, yes. So, hindi magbabago yung inyong, uh, inyong recording when it comes to putting it in Sony Vegas. So, kung ano yung record niyo, yun yung lalabas sa inyong uh, viewing panel. So, para makita niyo yung buong quality, you can actually set here. There's this button, Preview. Auto. Okay. So, once we click the preview auto, kung ano yung best suggestive the preview settings ng Vegas, yun yung ipapakita niya sa inyo. But I would rather suggest na i-best na, na ninyo. So, we're gonna put it in best uh, auto. Actually, medyo malabo lang siya because of the settings that we use in OBS. But you can actually, katulad na sinabi ko sa inyo kanina, you can actually go higher than the specifications na ginagamit natin. You can always go uh, higher than 1280 by 720. Okay? You can go 1920 by 1080 depending on your own discretion. So, yeah. Uh, we will be now proceeding with um editing your own video softwares. Okay? 
So, for example, nag-start tayo ng intro natin dito. You just have to simply, makikita nyo dito. You just have to simply stretch your timeline. So, makikita nyo itong button na to. You can actually adjust this. Okay? So, ganyan na. Pwede nyo adjust and then drag the whole frame. Ayan. So, once we drag this marker, ang tawag dito marker, and play it, magpi-play magpi lang siya accordingly. Ayan. So, nakita nyo dun din, guys, nag-fade siya. Okay? So, I would best suggest na uh, to make sure that you, if you're gonna, if you're gonna, um, shifting your your frame kanina katulad na nakikita natin dito. Presentation yun na agad yung bubungad. So, you can actually click your presentations na like this dito bago kayo mag-proceed with discussing the whole thing. Okay? So, pagka-click nyo ng inyong uh, hotkey to shifting from intro to the display capture, you can actually go to the presentation itself. Okay, para ma-record niya siya tuloy-tuloy. But right now, I will be just showing you the one of the basic functions of the OBS while rendering your own video. Okay, so, mapapasin ninyo. Ayan, guys. So, if in case na magkaroon kayo or you're getting hang of the OBS or na may misplace kayo with the hotkeys, you can actually post-process it na lang with the Vegas or with Adobe Premiere. So, what I'm gonna do is just simply cut. So, paano tayo magka-cut? Just click Control c Okay? So, just click for Control c plus C. Okay? So, dito tayo magka-cut. Sabihin natin dito. Kasi dito nag-fade eh. Okay? So, wait lang. Wait lang. So, ikakot natin siya. Okay, guys. Um, I'm get, I, I'm sorry. I get confused with uh, ang ang control si pala with the cut is for Adobe Premiere. For the cut ng Adobe uh, ng the Vegas Pro is actually control S. Okay, so yeah. So I'm sorry about that. So actually, nag nagkaroon lang ako na confusion with the Adobe Premiere kasi I'm mainly using Adobe Premiere. So when it comes to uh. Vegas, i-click nyo lang yung, uh, yung control S ay, with uh, the S button and then yan, magsislice na siya. So, slice pala tayo mag guys. I'm sorry. So, whenever we click S, magka-cut na siya. Okay? And then, yan. Sabihin natin, dito nag-start yung outro natin. So, we're just gonna click S ulit. Okay? And then, click on that frame na nasa gitna and then just hit delete. Okay? And then, i-connect nyo lang uli siya. Ayan. Para one whole video na uli siya. So, ayan. Ganyan siya, guys. So, if you're gonna make your video, kunyari, na-edit nyo na siya or nagawa nyo na siya ng uh, video courseware ninyo, uh, you can just, uh, and you want to fade yung dulo, you can actually, yan, you can see fade out offset. Okay? You just have to simply click this triangle dito. Okay? So, may lalabas na parang icon na medyo may arc siya. You just have to pull it. Okay? So, kung hanggang saan ninyo gusto mag-fade, 
yung inyong outro video. Ayan, kung mapapansipin niyo. Okay, so right now, we will be, ayan. Actually, effective din siya sa voice. Ayan. I did the same for the video and the audio. So, ayan, na narinig din niyo. Uh, nag, ano siya, nag-fade din yung voice ko. And in the same time, nag-fade din yung video. So, one important thing here is to make sure that you're gonna be cleaning all the mess that we've made in OBS sa Vegas Pro. Okay? So, that is one uh, helping tool or handy tool when it comes to creating your own video coursewares. Ngayon, uh, how do we render this video? So, so, you just have to simply highlight everything by Control A. You just have to click Control A. So, ma highlight to just la, uh, lahat and then click Control, uh, Control M. Okay? So, lalabas ito window na render to new track. Okay? So, render to new track, you just have to specify saan ka magsisave ng uh, video mo. Kunyari, I want to save it to sa video files and then name it final presentation. Okay? So, the thing is final presentation. Okay? So, we have to see ano format yung magiging compatible when it comes to uh, rendering our videos. Guys, I would suggest always set it to MP4, but not this one, okay? So, what I'm using actually is video for Windows, okay? So, video for Windows, and then, may mga settings of templates dito, okay? Video for Windows is automatically considered as MP4. Ngayon, we have these templates here. You just have to choose wisely kung ano yung magiging compatible with the uh, specification that you need for your video courseware. If you're using a uh, widescreen, uh, you can actually choose between widescreen 24p or NT, uh, or either you go HD 1080 24p. So right now we will be using or downloading since naka 720 tayo, right? So we're gonna be using 720p uh, uh, HD na yun. So once we have choose uh once we have chosen our um a template so okay na tayo with video for windows and then na-click na natin siya so ulitin ko lang guys ha kasi baka magkaroon kayo ng confusion kanina i already told you about the 720p so kanina we set our obs video to 1280s to 720 right so 1280 by 720 Isaset din natin yung rendering natin ng 1280 by 720 para well fit siya do sa compatibility. Kasi hindi ba well fit compatibility siya kung if, we're, if we will be rendering the videos to 1080 and the 1280 uh, lang yung video natin. Okay? Or 720p lang yung video natin but we rendered it to 1080. Hindi siya magiging compatible. So we have to match the settings. Okay? So let's just click render and then ayan magre-render na siya. Actually, one tip, guys, kasi mas, ma mas mabilis ako mag-render ngayon. One thing that I can share with you is that I upgraded my HDD to SSD. So, mas madaling mag-render at mas mabilis mag-render kahit ano pang format if, you're, if your laptops have SSD or what we call uh, solid-state drive. So, as we can see here, nandito yung mga files na nagawa natin. So, nandito na yung final presentation. So, double check lang natin, guys, the settings. Once you have got uh, your video presentation, always, guys, take note that you have, always have to double check your videos. Kasi there are times na not all rendering uh, settings would be working on your video. So, once we have tried it, kailangan panoorin nyo agad para hindi nyo ma-lose yung files ninyo. So, what we're gonna do is simply redo and then uh, so, 
So, naka-AVI siya. Lang. And uh, one thing din pala guys, I forgot to tell you, is that AVI, you can actually render naman with API. It's actually much higher uh, quality when it comes rather than MP4. Yun lang kumakain siya ng mas malaking space kasi nga much higher quality siya. Katulad na napansin nyo kanina, mas maganda quality niya kaysa doon sa MP4 na nabibview natin dito sa viewing panel. And then, uh, when it comes to... Uh, uh, MP4, let's try this uh, ABC. FPS. So let's check yung ating settings dito para compatible tayo. Ayan. So, we're using right now, actually, this one, 1280, 720. So, ang gamit natin is actually 30 FPS. So, save tayo with this one. So, hindi ko siya napalitan, guys, ng, ano, sorry, this one. We'll just have to change it later. Okay, so once na natapos na ating video recording, mapapansin niyo na record naman natin siya na maayos. So the title was untitled kanina, hindi kasi natin siya naset. So ayan guys, gumana na siya. So, ayan guys. So, na-apply natin yung fade banda dito sa area na to. Dito. And then, we also applied, however, yung ating uh, whole setting, even the recording that we produced kanina sa OBS. So, one thing that OBS actually can do is that it is much better than Bandicam. So, if you're familiar with Bandicam, kasi... Si Bandicam, nalilimitan niya lang yung time slots niya into 20 minutes. Unlike ng kay uh, OBS, you have no time limits with it. And then, kung medyo OC kayo, si Bandicam kasi meron siya watermark. And, pero si OBS, wala siya watermark. So, uh, at saka masiset niyo yung inyong resolutions into your own discretion. So, kung ano ba yung much better resolution that you're gonna fit in with the, with the settings that you're gonna make, mas okay si OBS gamitin for screen recording. So, yun yung sample natin kanina. So, let's make it as like sample presentation. So, okay na yan. So, actually, uh, ito na yung magiging sample presentations natin. So, you're just, pag nagtanong siya ng ganyan, you're just gonna have to search kasi pinalita natin yung pangalan so hindi niya ngayon malocate. Pero okay lang yan. Uh, actually, pwede nyo naman i-remove lang yan kasi sa settings lang naman siya. 
and then you just have kunyari, you're just gonna have to save the file okay so some save as this videos and then sample presentation and para hindi tayo maligaw so one thing guys is to make sure na Magka, uh, magkakakasama sa isang file location lahat ng videos ninyo kasi nilolocate siya ni OBS at saka ng inyong editing software. Okay? So, if you're gonna record, make sure your files are organized and uh, you also know where to locate your files pag nawala sila or pag hinanap sila ng program, katulad ng nakita nyo kanina. Okay? So, you just have to locate the file lalo na kung narinin ninyo uh, pwede nyo naman siya i-locate any, anywhere on your, uh, on your uh, file. Basta hindi nyo siya na-delete. So, that's the case. So, iwasan lang na ninyo siguro na ma-delete yung files ninyo. Tapos, hindi nyo na siya ma-locate. That would be uh, problematic kasi kailangan nyo ng recovering uh, data for it. Okay? So, one thing is that when it comes to creating a video courseware, So, ayan, na-try na natin si Sony Vegas Pro 15. So, again, for those advanced users, you can actually use Premiere for uh, those who want to have advanced uh, advanced uh, so, uh, editing in uh, sa, mga, sa mga voice ninyo. You can actually use Adobe Audition. And then for, uh, for others naman, hindi compatible lang OBS, I would be suggesting ang Bandicam. Okay? So, ayun. So, for this one, uh, I would be having my key takeaways. No? So, for other recording software, yun nga, pwede nyo gamitin si Bandicam. Kaso the risk is like 20 minutes lang ang capable niya. So, kung nagpe-present kayo na mas mahabang, uh, mas mahabang presentations, kadalasan, Medyo bitin ang 20 minutes. Lalo na if ipi-play siya ng bata. Uh, lalo na kung marami din siya kailangan input na malaman. Kulang ang 20 minutes. Okay? So, one thing then is, for other video editing softwares, beginners can use Sony Vegas, katulad na na-explain ko kanina. And if somehow advanced, you can use Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay? So, if you want to see the 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 Premiere Pro, ito yung interface niya. Pwede kayong mag-download ng Adobe Suite or mag-apply ng Adobe uh, products para officially meron kayong own uh, video editing softwares or even photo editing softwares. So, kadalasan, if I'm, if I'm gonna create my own video courseware, dito ko siya ginagawa. Ayan. So, yeah, ito actually yung mga files ko, mga video courseware din yan. So, I'm just gonna create. Ayan. So, yan siya. So, hindi ko na siya ipapakita sa inyo guys kasi medyo ano siya. <laughs> uh, okay, so, ayan, yung other apps that I can truly suggest. So, pwede actually, pwede rin to sa phone. Okay, yung OBS, pwede rin siya sa phone. You can actually use it phone. Tapos, pwede nyo i-download yung APK doon. Pwede na rin kayo directly mag-record doon. Uh, as long as you have the file and you can organize your files in your phone. Okay? Pwede din sa uh, OBS. Kasi kadalasan ng mga streamers natin, sa OBS din sila gumagamit. Yung mga naglalaro. Or you can actually connect your OBS sa laptop and then your phone. You just need the splitter. Yung splitter na tinatawag. Okay, and lastly, prepare assets first before screen recording. Presentations, image asset, or word document. So, bago kayo mag-present, guys, always remember to keep your presentations ready before recording para hindi nyo na siya hinahanap at and to uh, keep your privacy then when it comes to your files. So, the more na mas nagiging, uh, uh, I mean, the more that you expose your files, mas may tendency na ma ano yung privacy ninyo. So, I would really or highly suggest na keep your assets prepared before presenting. 
Okay? So, ayun. So, for the OBS, another key takeaway siguro is to make sure na uh, when it comes to editing, make sure lang do sa settings ninyo. If mataas naman yung specifications ninyo or mataas yung specifications, specs ng mga laptops ninyo, you can actually go higher than 2.5 when it comes to streaming. Tapos, kapag ka mag-stream kayo or sa recording, you can actually set your uh, quality to high quality or medium file size. Okay? So, okay lang naman na mag-same as stream kayo or high quality. It actually do up, uh, the same lang naman. Okay, for the audio, I think wala na kayo masyadong gagalawin dito with the video na discuss ko na sa inyo. So, base canvas resolution, kung ano yung resolution ng mga monitors ninyo. We have the smallest screen size, which is the 1280 by 720, then the 1366 by 768, and the 1920 by 1080. Okay? Pero, if you're gonna be rendering and require specifications kayo, katulad kunyari sa amin, as specified lang namin is, ang limit lang namin with the videos are 1 to 80 by 720. So, we will stick with 1 to 80 by 720 depending on the restrictions of your uh, institutions or your own discretion. Okay? So, for the FPS values, okay na si 30 FPS. Uh, that would work. But you can also go higher. You can actually go 60 FPS. Uh, sobrang ano na nun, uh, No lapses, no lags. Ayan, hindi na siya maglalag katulad ng ibang mga uh, FPS. Or even if you go lower. Okay? So, ang napansin nyo rin kanina, meron settings like 29.97 FPS doon sa uh, ating um, Sony Vegas is because if we if we estimate at 29.97 uh, that is already 30. So, isa-set na natin si FPS values natin ng 30 frames. So, isa-set natin si rendering naman ng 29.97 or internet uh, HD 720. Uh, 29.97 FPS. So, yun yung pwede nyo i-set up with the settings. So, ayun lang naman. Yung isa sa mga key takeaways ko. And then, with the hotkeys, ayun, just always remember your hotkeys. Pwede nyo naggayahin to guys, but you can actually make your own hotkeys. Okay? Depending on the discretion or depending on uh, on the settings that is being provided to you by your uh by your company or your or your institutions as well. So you just have to click apply pag okay ka na, wala ka na restrictions and then you can move forward with audio recording. So uh with your with video cre or, uh, creating or creating your own video courseware. Okay? So that's it for the OBS or the uh open broadcasting uh system. Um I think that's it. Um, so, uh, thank you for uh, listening and uh, thank you for uh, inviting me here as well. So, if you have any questions, uh, I would glad. I would be really glad to answer it. All so, right. So, thank you, Miss Pauline, for that very informative session. Alam nating lahat, no? na malaking tulong ito para sa ating mga viewers, lalong-lalo na sa ating mga leaders. Meron lang po tayong ilang mga katanungan no, na nakala po natin sa ating live chat. Okay. But, uh, before that, for those who are asking po no, yung questions about registration, evaluation form, and certificate, meron po tayong announcement about that later. For now, i-address po natin yung mga questions with regards to our um, discussion. All right. Um, I believe this has been tackled. Free daw po ba, Miss Pauline, ng OBS? Yes, free na free po siya. Yes, I believe it's free and they can download it sa ating pong website na yes. https dot double, double backslash obsproject.com Yan, dyan po natin pwedeng ma-download for free ang OBS. Yes. Yes. And you also mentioned, di ba, Ms. Pauline, that 
this is also available sa ating mobile. So, may mobile application yeah. po si OBS. Yes, pwede nyo din sa direct site din nyo i-download. Right. Thank you for that, that uh, clarification. A question from Ms. Lot Lot Bustamante. Does the software has a HD requirement? Again? Does the software, yung OBS daw po ba, has a HD requirement? Uh, HD. Uh, Bale, high definition. Or high, uh, uh, actually, kasi ano siya, uh, you can actually uh, record your screens in HD na. You can actually set dito sa settings. Dito sa settings natin. Is pwede nyo na iset dyan na HD na yan. Okay? Pero there are some institutions kasi or some restrictions, lalo na if you're working on a company, minsan hindi sila nagpapa-HD due to the upload or the file size. Pero pwedeng-pwede nyo i-render uh, siya into HD. Okay, thank you for that, Ms. Pauline. Another question po from our viewers. Pwede po ba magbago or shorten yung duration ng time per slide or per screen ng video? Pwede, pwede, pwede. Okay, pwede po. That's a question from Ms. Perlirina Pinero. So, pwede po, ma'am. What about po yung ating Sony Vegas Pro 15 application? Is it mm -hmm. also free? Um, I would be giving you a tip. Actually, uh, you can actually download it to uh, to here. So, may pinagda-downloadan na ako. I would be giving it to you to you guys. So, pwede kayo mag-download na lang dito. Uh, all apps are free naman dito. Yan. So, if you have no access or you have no key takeaway, uh, you have no access to to buying your own um, ay, sorry, sorry. Hindi pala nakikita. Yes, Miss Pauline, can you share your screen? Thank you. Okay, sige. So, Ayan. Okay na. <laughs> yeah. You yes, can actually download it here. Uh, dito ako kumukuha ng mga programs ko. Get into PC. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you can actually you download it there. Pro. Yung Vegas Pro. Ayan. Makikita niyo yung mga products ko dito. <laughs> okay. So, are these applications for free po or not really? Um, not really. Okay. So, particularly, mm -hmm. Sony Vegas Pro 15, yung ginamit po natin kanina, is it mm -hmm. for free? For free. If uh, makakita kayo doon nung sa website na yon, for free lang yun for downloads. Pwede, right. pwede nyo magamit yan. Okay, thank you for that tip, Miss Pauline. Very helpful for all of us. Mm -hmm. How about another question po from Miss Karen Maitu? Is making the video in OB OBS can be done offline or kailangan po online siya? It can be done offline. Mm -hmm. Okay. It can be done offline. Oh, kahit wala kayong internet, okay lang. Magagamit niya siya. Okay. And for our last clarification po from Mr. Mario Flores and Louis Katempuhan, for clarification, OBS po ba is for recording only? And we need another software for editing? Actually, katulad na discuss ko kanina, it will be your own discretion din siguro na mag-video soft, uh, mag editing software pa kayo. Pero if continuously ninyo mas strive, katulad ng pinakita ko sa inyo dito kanina. Uh, wait lang pa. Katulad po na pinakita niyo, may scenes po. Uh, mm -hmm. If you're gonna make an intro, and then display capture, and then an outro. I think you can create your own videos na, and hindi nyo napadaanin pa sa iba pang video editing softwares. If you can actually screen record everything continuously. Kasi kapag ka nag-start recording naman na kayo, lahat ng gagalaw dito sa inyong visual panel, magre-record naman siya automatically. Hindi na masasama tong mong uh, display capture. Not unless si scene 1 na yung uh, nag-proceed. So, I would suggest, pagdating ng scene 1, ready na dapat si presentation ninyo. Ililipat nyo na lang siya. So, yun. All right. Okay, thank you very much for that, Miss Pauline. Do you have any um, last few words for our viewers before we close our session? 
So ayun po, I hope that we that we all learned uh using OBS and I uh I actually I am actually glad to help you out with this because I'm also a professor with uh with this I'm actually using the same softwares as well in creating my own video course for my students. And in this time that we are facing right now the, the what what it called the new normal this is actually a good advantage for us to reach out to our clients and to our uh students as well. So creating our video courseware would be really handy for them. They can actually view it online, offline. You can actually upload it online then, but you can uh, they can download it anytime, anywhere, as long as you give them permissions. So, uh, wala naman tayo restrictions when it comes to creating our own tracks and video editing, uh, video courseware. As long as uh, we follow also yung mga nasa institutions natin. So, I think uh, yun lang naman po. Okay, thank you very much again, Miss Pauline. A lot of our viewers are actually thanking you and uh, thank you for Happy Web you. Technologies for conducting this, uh, this webinar. So, once again, thank you, Miss Pauline, for your time and for sharing your expertise with our viewers. Okay. At dyan po, nagtatapos ang ating webinar on creating online video courseware using open broadcaster software. But wait, there's more. Mayroon lang po kaming ilang mga announcements. Doon na po. Okay, for those who are asking kung meron po tayong replay, mapapanood po ninyo ang webinar replay link sa aming FB page, Habi Web Technology. So, ayan po ang itsura ng aming Facebook page as you can see in your screens. Please like and follow po para updated po tayo sa aming mga announcements at upcoming webinars. Alright? We will also upload the webinar replay link on that website, on our website. So, ayan po, just visit our website. It's www habbywebtechnologies.com and click webinars at the top menu as you can see in our screen. Click the webinar code HWT0TOBS001. Don't worry, there is no need to remember the code. Mr. Uh, Sell, please screen. Alright, thank you for that. One moment. Thank you. All right. Sorry for that. Once again, I'm sharing with you our Facebook page. Yan, dyan po namin ipopost ang mga further announcements and the replay link for this particular webinar will be shared here. And in our website, which you can access through the link www.habbywebtechnologies.com. Ayan po. Kindly click lang po yung webinars at the top menu. And then, click the webinar code. As you can see, in step number two, yung pong HWTOBS001. But there's no need naman po to remember the code dahil nandyan din naman po ang aming webinar name. So, click nyo lang po yan and you will see the links for the webinar video, evaluation form, and the certificate. Okay? Important dates to remember. Evaluation deadline is on July 1, 2020, this year po, ha? So, starting today hanggang July 1, 11.55 po ng gabi, ay pwede kayong sumagot sa evaluation. Once makasagot po kayo, certificate release date is on July 6, this year din po, 2020. So, again, madadownload niyo po ang certificate sa aming website. For our, for our upcoming webinars, so, we're done today, okay, for this particular webinar, but there will be a lot more na nakapila po, no? Next are the webinars in partnership with BICT, ICT Literacy and Competency Development Bureau from June 22 to 25. So, iba-ibang topics po yan. Please save the date. And after that, the second batch of comprehensive G Suite training na talaga, nam talaga namin Talaga namang marami nagre-request po no, ng another batch. So, ito na po. This one is longer din po than the first batch 
na three days lang. Next po, we have creating interactive presentation using Microsoft PowerPoint. And last is the image editing using Adobe Photoshop. Okay? By the way, hindi pa po ito ang last dahil marami pa po tayong upcoming webinars na hindi pa nare-release. So, abang-abang lang po kayo sa Habi Web Technologies Facebook page dahil dyan po namin ipopost lahat ng upcoming webinars po natin. Okay? And also, this list will be shared or will be posted in our Facebook group. So, for those who are asking about how to register, no, ito na po ang ating registration process. So, dito po, makikita ninyo na mas pinadali po natin ang registration process. Wala na po yung registration via Google Forms and yung limited slots lang. Okay, Habi Web Technologies free webinars are now open to the public. Just follow the registration process and submit the requirements within the deadline to get a certificate. So here are the simple steps to register. First, like and follow our Facebook page for updates and notifications. Second, please subscribe to Habi Web Technologies YouTube channel. And third is to click going as the response to the events that we will release on our Facebook page. And lastly, please share our events on your timeline or group chat so your friends, family, and colleagues can join too. Okay? Hashtag sharing is caring. Don't forget to read the event details carefully dahil lahat ng information na kailangan ninyong malaman ay nandoon na po. For webinars in partnership with BICT, registration details will be released and controlled by the DICT and will be shared on Habi Web Technologies Facebook page. Kaya kailangan po talaga natin i-follow ang ating Facebook page. Okay, so I think that's all. If you have um, any questions, please feel free to send us a message on our Facebook page. Thank you very much, everyone. Please keep safe and stay healthy and God bless us all. Thank you for joining us this afternoon.